Hi, I'm Atul and I'm an uh, online maths and science tutor based in London and I'm also your uh, Bitpaper social media representative. Hi, and I'm Paul and I'm an online chemistry tutor based in Burnley, Lancashire right now. So uh, today I thought we'd have a look at uh, writing ionic equations in chemistry. So I'll just start off by doing a, a title for that. So I'll just type in here So Paul would be using this text icon um, to type I'll just do a little sample there and then you click done. Because. Paul's doing it on his end so and then just move it a bit more central perhaps make it a bit bigger there we go so that's the a very useful way to use the text icon just to sort of give a which on my side you can see that even I can choose to then resize this, increase the font size, edit the text, place it wherever I want, um, undo to get it back to where Paul, so you can resize it this way. Great. Yeah, we also had a choice of color just by clicking the, the color palette. I, I did that beforehand and, and just chose the, the color blue. And then I know beneath the color palette, there's like a million other colors you could choose from. But I uh, generally get away with just using the the ones that are clearly represented on the color wheel. So now I'll choose some uh, questions for us to have a go at writing ionic equations. So I'll just go and cut and paste onto the board. Okay, so here's one question. To write an ionic equation for the reaction of potassium carbonate aqueous potassium carbonate with aqueous nitric acid so that that's really cool that you got a presumably this is like on a pdf or some sort of exam question and you just put it there on this canvas so uh, somehow i think uh, well i use the a light shot as a snipping copy and paste from a pdf but uh, maybe you can explain how yeah. you did it yeah yeah it's a question off uh, chem sheets website which is you know, when I first started doing chemistry tuition, I thought, how am I going to do it without a textbook? Yeah, and now I find I don't need a textbook because there's lots of resources. You probably find this with maths as well. There's uh, a lot of chemistry resources online and chem sheets and save my exams are sites I use a lot to find resources, questions we can have a go at. And this is off chem sheets one of the questions, PDFs on chem sheets that you can download. And I've just cut a question off that <clears throat> and pasted it here onto the whiteboard. Perfect. Uh, and like, if, you, if, I, if you're on Bitpaper right now live, just ask us questions on any functionality of using Bitpaper. We'll, we'll try our best to answer within, within this demo. So uh, Atul, could you uh, start us off here? I think this is sort of GCSE level question. Could you start us off with just the equation, the general balanced equation for this reaction? Sure. So this is a potassium carbonate aqueous with nitric acid. So uh, I'm going to use my pen tool. I, I like purple. I'll just double check we are on purple. So I click on this pen tool down there, uh, which may or may not show on your live stream, but uh, there's a pen tool and all shortcut two on the keyboard so purple there potassium carbonate so the carbonate is co3 uh, potassium is k potassium is in sodium put group group one so it's k2co3 plus uh, hno3 i believe so I'm writing this time. Stage symbols, AQ, AQ. Uh, I'm alive, so a little bit of stage fright, messy writing, so, but you know, no big deal. I'll just correct that with the edit tool. Uh, I'm gonna put a forward arrow using the arrow tool. Mm -hmm. All right, so potassium nitrate, um, same. 
potassium nitrate, no, not K2. Yeah, potassium nitrate. So I can edit this in. Plus carbon dioxide, plus water, liquid, gas, aqueous. Excellent. How did you know it was KNO3 and not K2NO3? I know that the nitrate ion has a net negative charge. And I know that the potassium ion has a net, well, a positive charge, one positive. And therefore, they must combine in a ratio of one ion of potassium with one ion of nitrate. Yeah, because ionic compounds overall are neutral, so that the plus and the minus there cancels out. And the K2CO3, we needed two potassium ions to cancel out the two minus charge on the carbonate ion. Yeah, so keeping it neutral, yeah, the plus and yeah. minus. So I'll just take that out. Okay. So now to turn this into ionic equation, we just write out the aqueous ions that are here. So we would have two aqueous potassium ions and an aqueous carbonate ion. An aqueous hydrogen ion. Aqueous nitrate ion. Making this a bit big. So aqueous potassium ion, aqueous nitrate ion. And then we've got our carbon dioxide gas. And water liquid. Ah, yes. Um, we needed to balance the first equation. So how would we balance the first equation? Of course, I never balanced it. Um, right, I'm just going to... I love my colours, so I'm just going to switch to another colour. Uh, so I'm going to go black. So two potassiums there, one there, certainly out of whack, not balanced. I'm going to stick a two there. So that changes the nitrogen number. So I've got to stick a two there. Nitrates all good, potassium all good. One carbon, three oxygen. Uh, two hydrogens extra, are they? All hydrogens are good as well. Hydrogens looking good as well. Did, or is it six hyd six oxygens? Five, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So that affects the number of ions we've got down here. So this would be 2H plus, 2NO3 minus, 2K plus, and 2NO3 minus. And now can you spot what we need to do with this ionic equation? To sake, to preserve the equality, as I say in maths, I can remove the 2NO3 minus there and 2NO3 minus there, both on the left and right. And anything else we could remove? And the 2K plus, yeah, of course, that and that. Yeah, and they're known as uh, spectator ions. It, it, eventually, essentially, they've just watched this reaction. They, they haven't changed. Brilliant. So they've not really taken part in the reaction. And so we can ignore them in our overall ionic equation. Nice. That's not something we hear at so GCC. If we remove that, remove that, remove that, and remove that. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
<clears throat> is our overall ionic equation. Uh, essentially, you can see there an acid and a carbonate gives carbon dioxide and water. Nice. And, I mean, you you wrote it out there, but I was just thinking that uh, there is another way of doing this, just kind of using the bit paper technology, is actually... Actually, I'm just going to remove that from the can just temporarily, uh, is to make a copy of this down there. So often that speeds up my workflow, just from a technical mm -hmm. point of view. And then remove the potassium on both sides. And also from a teaching point of view, mm -hmm. it shows that you can actually remove, quite quite literally remove it. So you can remove the nitrate and nitrate. And uh, of course, you have the hydrogen plus. So we, are left, we still have that. So I'm going to copy that in. Uh, Maybe a bit overkill, but you can just use bit, bit paper itself to edit things out. And um, yeah, you, you had the H plus there. Oh yeah, of course you I do. Yeah. So uh, again, if I make a mistake, just press Z on your keyboard, and yeah. then uh, that's it, isn't it? And then yeah, just move, it, yeah. Move, move things around. Yeah. There. And what I quite often do, you so see, we filled up our paper now, and therefore. Uh, um, I might want to continue below this question. So what I'll do, I'll use the select tool and select all the work we've done so far. Mm. Oops, sorry, yeah. And then I can sort of keep that perspective but just move it up. We can still see what we've written and that will given us a bit of more space to continue below. Yeah. So I'll just replicate that because it's easy to see on mine and then on Paul's. You select all the items by drawing a box around them. On the bottom right, you can choose to enlarge them, make them smaller. What Paul has done is just made them smaller because we've, we're done with this part. It's not as important. So it's reducing the cognitive load on the 2T because that's not as important, as prominent. And then you use this white space in a very creative way to do the next part of the question. Yeah. Fantastic. Some uh, proper pro usage of uh, bit paper for chemistry. Uh, and I, as always, learned a new bit of chemistry from you as well. So, um, Great. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Do put comments in after the video and uh, look forward to doing uh, doing another one with you soon and uh, another one with Paul as well. All right. Thanks, Paul, okay. for showing me all of this. Okay. Thanks, Cecil. Great. Thank you.